You guys gotta see how big Winston is before we start. Come here, my little man. Oh, can you say hi? Look at my big boy. Look at my big man. Oh, he always waves to you guys every time he's on camera. Okay. Hi everybody, Drew here from Alone Fox, and today we have a video all about creating high impact design choices in your home on a budget, but these are also clever ways to make those design decisions. Over the years, I have designed and made over many spaces myself, as you guys have seen here on the channel, and I've definitely come across many different kind of design choices that I've done where I'm like, wow, that really created such a high impact look, and I barely spent anything to do it. I went through so many of my videos this weekend, and I picked out 10 tips that I think are the biggest high impact, most budget friendly tips that you yourself can do in your house starting today if you'd like. So let's go ahead and dive on into our first. My first tip is one that actually was seen in my hallway makeover and in my hallway I really wanted to create high impact because it was a space that was really bland and boring. It's kind of a transition between the bedrooms and the living rooms and the bathrooms and I thought painting the doors kind of an accent color in this space would give it all the life that it needed and that is exactly what I did which actually was a super affordable yet high impact change that I did in this room. It's a budget friendly way to add more color and a little bit more injection of kind of design and style into a room. Doors are also kind of larger surface spaces so I think you get more of a high impact look when you create that contrast color on those doors or like you add an accent color or a pop of color on doors or built-ins whatever it might be that is tip number one this next one actually happens to be in my bedroom and one that I feel like has been trending this year for sure and that is accent ceilings. The great thing about accent ceilings is it kind of utilizes a supply in our last tip which is paint and I will say paint is definitely on the more affordable side for the impact you can create because paint is something that can completely change the mood, the vibe of truly anything. So in my bedroom I added this accent color of like a golden mustard to the ceiling and then I did a border on the underside of these navy stripes which which totally are not necessary, but I do think adding this accent ceiling to this room as opposed to just keeping it all this kind of creamy color that's on the walls really adds that high impact look and feel and kind of designer touch as well. And it was something that was super, super easy to achieve. Bringing the ceiling color down on the wall a little bit as well also kind of gives the illusion that you have taller ceiling. There really is a lot you can do with paint that creates a different vibe, a different mood, or just like a different feeling in the space. One of my absolute favorite tips that I will give credit to Justin for because he is someone that taught me this. He actually, I don't know if you guys know, he used to work on that show Homework on the Magnolia Network. And when he was on that show, they stacked baseboards. And I thought that that was such a genius idea because personally, I will say a lot of older homes, the baseboards just are not cute. Something about old houses, I never love the baseboards. I always think an old home can use a new baseboard. I always love the crown molding. I love the wall molding, the window trim, everything. But no Normally the baseboards are just a little chintzy in older homes or even new builds when they go the more chintzy route, but something you can always do to elevate a baseboard because baseboards are super costly is just stack another piece of molding or trim on top, paint it the same exact color. You can add some caulking in between if you need to to make them feel more like one, but you can even stack multiple pieces of molding or trim so you don't even have to get rid of or remove your original baseboard. Just stack right on top of it, paint it in, and nobody's going to know that that is not one piece of trim that you applied on the walls. So I think that is such a genius hack to keep in mind because there's been so many projects where I've actually gone in in the past and pulled out the baseboards to put in something that looks worse than if I was to just stack a more affordable piece of trim on top and just paint it all together. So a great little tip to keep in mind. My fourth tip is all about using molding to your advantage and really thinking outside of the box on how you can use the different pieces of molding you could find at hardware stores, the little corner pieces, like the little molding corner pieces that you could find as well. I feel like the one we can all think of is just your traditional French kind of panel molding, which I've done so many times on the channel in the past, but something I did actually in my living room was I used a little rosette that you could find just at Lowe's and I stacked them across the entire top of the built-in bookshelves that I did on my back wall and once this was all painted together it totally gave the look that this was completely custom it could have even been like somewhat original to the home at the time period I just definitely feel like there are ways to utilize molding and molding really does give you that high impact luxury feel and it doesn't have to cost that much 
this one is all about using painter's tape to actually create designs before going in and painting. And I'm not talking about going crazy with your designs. I'm going to give you two iterations where one's a little bit more simple and I think a little bit more attainable and then one's a little bit more crazy. You might have seen that one if you actually watch my YouTube shorts. I just shared it the other day. But in my previous apartment, I actually used painter's tape on the underside of an arch to create like this striped border. And I really feel like this created such a high impact focal point in the space. Like it's always what people talk about when they reference this photo. But something I've done recently actually is I diagonal striped my entire breakfast nook. I literally covered the entire breakfast nook floor to ceiling in painter's tape. And you don't have to do a diagonal stripe. You can do vertical, you can do horizontal, but I just feel like stripes are such a classic print that is never ever going to go out of style. So I did diagonals in here, painted over the top of it, and when I pulled off the tape, it just revealed this beautiful like almost wallpaper look. I definitely think you guys can see that for the price point, which I only spent about $30 on the tape and then probably $40 for all the paint as well. I spent about $70 on this wall and the impact that it created was far more than the money I think that I spent on it. I definitely took a little patience, but I love the result. I think just incorporating this even in an accent wall or like a kid's room or something. Just keep that in mind that painter's tape and just adding stripes or a little detail design to something is a great way to add a little bit more interest before going in and painting it. The next tip here is probably the one that could be the most costly depending on how you do it, but I will say that it definitely is one too that I feel like makes the biggest, like one of the biggest impacts, and that is layering your lighting. And what I mean by layering your lighting is adding in additional sources of light um, to create a different ambiance, a different mood. You can use them at different times of days and for different types of things. Like for example, these ones on the sides of my bed, they were not here when I first moved into this space. There was just a ceiling light. And if you do have an outlet on the wall, you're wanting to install let's say some sconces or some ceiling lights it's going to be much more cost effective but I'll say right now that I did pay somebody $400 to come out and install these two electrical boxes on either side of my bed but I will say that the $400 I spent makes this room feel like a hotel and I totally offset that by purchasing some lights from Facebook marketplace for 30 bucks um, if you watched my makeover you guys would have seen these ones and something I will say now is my room feels completely different. I do not turn on the overhead light at all at nighttime. I only have these little kind of side lit nightstand lights on and it creates such an ambiance and a mood. Even out in the kitchen, there's a lamp that stays on at nighttime. It's actually plugged into a little Alexa plug. So at nighttime that turns on and then we just don't even have to utilize the kitchen lights. Really thinking about your lighting and layering in an additional option or two is a great way to kind of just add a little bit more impact. And it doesn't have to be hardwired because that definitely does cost more. It could be even something along the lines of a table lamp or a floor lamp that just gives you more option and versatility to your lighting. Now I definitely know art can be super expensive, but I also know that a lot of expensive art looks like it was handmade. And so that is something I have taken into account many times in the past and I create my own DIY artwork all the time. A lot of you guys probably know Marco um, Want Zamora on Instagram and TikTok. He actually blew up over the past couple years, but we've been friends for many, many years. And a couple years back, I actually redid his apartment on my channel before he was creating content. In his space, I created these really large canvas art pieces and I framed them out in some one by two pieces of wood. It cost me around $150 for both of these large canvases and all the wood and paint that I used. But I will say we covered an entire wall, like the biggest focal wall in his living room with this art. And it created such high impact for probably what would have cost thousands of dollars if we were actually looking from like an art studio or just someone that sold art at the size and caliber we were looking for. So just going out to Blick or on Amazon and purchasing yourself a really large canvas and creating your own piece of art is a great way to get large scale art for an entryway, a living room, a bedroom at a fraction of a price point. I was also thinking to myself, what is always that kind of finishing element that makes a room like shine in my opinion? And it always is a plant to me. Like I always feel like that little bit of organic and that little bit of nature just brings a room to life. It really does. And in the lobby downstairs, which is kind of like the second living room, I call it the lobby space. I actually got a tree for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. And my tip here is to actually utilize Facebook Marketplace to find yourself a gorgeous plant because there are so many people getting rid of house plants, whether they be moving to 
a new state. They've grown them for a while. They just don't want to take care of them anymore. There are a lot of great, great large scale plants on Facebook Marketplace that you can find for such a great price point, And they are going to create the biggest impact in your home. I promise you. Because when I brought this ficus in that was in someone's yard, they sold it to us for $50. Just added so much movement to the space. It almost looked sculptural. It added a breath of fresh air to the room. Like it just really transformed the room. In every single room I do, there's always, always, always a plant. So I think I would say that if you're looking for like a large scale or focal plant for a space, definitely check out Facebook Marketplace because you can get one for a fraction of the price that's going to create a lovely high impact look in your space. Tip number nine is all about refinishing furniture. And this is something that I do all the time and I have shared so many different DIY tutorials on like the one in my bedroom. I wanna focus kind of on this one because I actually turned this instead of stripping it because stripping furniture can honestly be such a pain. I actually painted this one to look like wood and I just adore the way that it ended up turning out. I'll go ahead and link the tutorial for this one, but I've also shared tutorials in the past on how to bleach furniture. So if you wanna take the wood back to a natural state, and also how to strip furniture to give it more of an aged primitive look. Number 10, you guys, is one that you've probably heard in the past, and this is swapping out light fixtures. But kind of going back to our last one too, is that I have swapped out so many light fixtures in this home with the ones I found on Facebook Marketplace. For such a reasonable price point, I feel like one of the most notable ones is the one in my dining room because I got this like massive overarching iron chandelier that is perfect for a table. I got it for $150 on Marketplace. And swapping out this light fixture for the one that was there just completely transformed this room a light fixture too it's like the jewelry of a room it's like the focal point when you walk in it's what you see so i definitely say if there's one thing to splurge just a little bit more on it would be a light fixture because it really is the focal it is a center point of any single room and swapping in a light fixture can create high impact in a space extremely easily and that guys concludes today's video i hope that you enjoyed this one and those are my 10 budget friendly and most inexpensive but most high impact ways to transform a space and i hope that you guys can't hear that. I mean, you probably can. They're building a home next door. They've been building it for like a year. I think I've mentioned it. They're still not done. And um, yeah, they're just taking their time. So <laughs> hopefully soon they'll be done. But I hope that one, two, or maybe even 10 of these will be useful for you when you go to design your next space, or if you go to transform your bedroom, whatever it might be, help a friend out with theirs. And I'd love to know in the comment section below which one of these tips was your absolute favorite. And if you have any tips for high impact changes you can make to your space that are on the more budget friendly side because I definitely think there are a bunch of high impact changes you can make but if they're not budget friendly what's the point if you have the money you could do whatever you want you can make any high impact change you want we're doing budget friendly here so yes thank you so much for watching today's video I will catch you guys all in my next one do not forget to follow me over on Instagram it is Lone Fox Home along with TikTok and I'll catch you guys next time bye